What actually happened to prominent Nazi wives after World War II? Marguerite Himmler, the wife of SS leader Heinrich Himmler, lived an uneventful life, though she lost her pension rights and the right to vote for her part in the crimes of her husband. Himmler, who was a chronic adulterer, widowed her by committing suicide after capture. Gerda Bormann, wife of Nazi Party official Martin Bormann, was arrested by American forces and she died of uterine cancer shortly after. Her husband also killed himself beforehand to prevent execution for his crimes. Emily Goring, the wife of Luftwaffe commander Hermann Goring, spent a period in prison before writing the book My Life with Goring. In 1972, she died the next year, aged 80, having never once changed her Nazi beliefs. Ilse Hess, wife of Deputy Führer Rudolf Hess, was the one who actually introduced Hess to Hitler himself. After Hess was arrested and condemned, Ilse spent a year in an internment camp. Upon release, she continued being an avowed Nazi and wrote multiple far-right books.